Hi everyone, I am Pratham Patel. I am a fourth year Meta DD, and this is a questionnaire for mainly first year and second year students to about the MEMS branch. So, did I ever consider a branch change? I came to IIT B Meta as a first choice. So, the thought of branch change never crossed my mind. Also, I joined a research lab in my second semester just as a fun activity and I liked the research vibe there. So it was enough to keep me in the department for a foreseeable future. Did I ever think about DD to BTEC conversion? As I said earlier, I joined a lab in my second semester and I wanted to accomplish some productive research before I get out of the institute. And being a DD, that gave me one more year as a UG to do something productive and accomplish something as my research. Also, I got a fantastic group of people in the metallurgy DD group and I would have messed up upon those enjoyable days with them if I had converted to VTech. There is a common misconception that Meta is only for non-core people. It is not only for non-core people, it is for all the people who want to pursue what they want to. Meta as a branch does not burden you with anything. It is a very chill branch. You have all the freedom and free time in the world. The profs and the gradings are chill. There is literally no workload and you have every opportunity to pursue extra currics in, you, in your life. Also, the core has a lot of options here to consider. So, I would say that if you want to pursue whatever you want, then you must think about staying in Meta. If one doesn't like Meta, how about the survival in Meta or these four years or five years they have? So as I said earlier, Meta is the literally the chillest branch in the institute and the profs and the gradings are very chill. There is no workload, there is a minimum number of assignments or quizzes and there are virtually no surprise quizzes. Even if you prepare 3 to 4 days before an exam, that is enough for you to get at least 8 plus in that semester. And the biggest fact about Meta is that after first year, people leave due to branch change and the remaining lot is a very helping lot. So at the time of exams or anything, any academic problem someone faces, everyone is there to help them out. What are the prospects in industry? So as we can see, the world around us is made of materials. Anything on everything we see from electronics to polymers to steels to displays to any specialty materials is built upon materials research and industry plays a vital role in bringing this research to a manufacturing phase. I have personally interned in a material science industry and I can see that the research that goes on in an industry is cutting edge and it is the best you can get in material science. Also every company wants to improve their product by materials research and they invest a lot of money and human resources in researching materials to gain an edge over the existing market. What are the prospects of material science in academia? Again, the world around us is all materials. Everything that is the buzzwords today, the sustainability, climate change, global warming, energy materials like batteries, then energy conversion materials like magnets and solar the solar panels, the magnets and turbines etc are a result of cutting edge materials research. Again everything boils down to materials research and that is the beauty of this department. What are my future plans? As I mentioned earlier I did my internship in a material science industry and I found out that if I compare academia versus industry research, 
the industry research is much more focused and well fast paced so i would like to work in industry for a couple of years just to gain the required momentum exposure and a, an accomplishment as a researcher and then i would like to go for a phd thank you